DPG here, we're playing, and we're gonna do another protein review. <laughs> so, um, yeah, sorry it's been so long since I uploaded another one. It's just um, a lot of stuff this week, mostly homework. Every other week I get a little bit more homework, just because that's when a lot more assignments are due. So I have a little harder time to upload things. But anyways, today we're gonna be talking about uh, oh yeah, cookies and cream flavor. Uh, what kind of bar is this? Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, cookies and cream flavor. Yes, I know, it looks like crap. The wrapper does. So, let's begin. So when it comes to taste, easy enough. Absolute, this is actually absolutely delicious. What it is, kind of weird that on the outside it has a white chocolate taste to it and then it puts a little bit of the cookie inside. Which is actually kind of nice and it's a little bit chewy. That's a, kind of a problem, that's a texture thing. But overall, when I give it a taste, I give it a four and a half. No, four. Five. Yeah, definitely a four. It, it makes me want to have another one, but it's not like I, I need another one, if that makes sense. Now, when it actually comes to ingredients, I, what's really nice about these Oya oh yeah bars, because, well, they actually kind of stay with a pretty simple ingredient. Now, well, simple as it can be for these. So, let's uh, look at this real quick. Uh, oh, God. There we go. Um, if you haven't noticed, I'm holding this with one hand, so that's what's a little bit difficult. There we go. So we got the protein blend, of course. You got uh, whey isolate milk protein. We got some probiotic fiber, molotol, glycerin, of course, sunflower seed butter. <sighs> this is what I don't like. Palm kernel oil and soy protein. And you already know what I feel about those. Um, the palm kernel oil, I have actually have a kind of a feel to it because uh, what they actually have to do to get it, uh, they have to you know tear down a lot of forests, which that's why I kind of don't even buy regular peanut butter anymore. I only buy like peanut butter that's made with peanuts and salt. But anyways, that's not the point. And uh, you already know about soy protein that actually has a higher estrogen level than um, what milk is, which is kind of bad for males and not so bad for females, but only older females want to take it because it will help produce natural estrogen. But anyways, so ingredients, again, um, since it's on the very lower list of it, I'll give it a four still. Uh, for ingredients because everything else is just fine now for the macro uh, sorry micros uh, seven grams of fat w what do you expect though because it has a cookies and cream flavor it has actually bits little bits of chocolate little bits of cookie in it so overall it's, it's what you expect not as good compared to my other protein bars which actually have more protein in them the premier protein I, I just love those anyways uh, five grams of saturated fat uh, polysaturated one monosaturated one uh, I gotta learn more about that, which I will come back to you more. Cholesterol is pretty good, only 5, not bad for this kind of bar. Sodium is pretty low, 150. Potassium, 90 milligrams, yeah, not bad, I mean, you can't expect potassium from protein bars. Now, here's what's really nice. Carbs, 23 carbs, and 10 grams of fiber. Hey, and we already know that higher the fiber, the better. Only 1 gram of sugar and 11 grams of sugar alcohol, which is actually pretty good. I'd rather have maybe a couple more grams of regular sugar. Hopefully, they put more a little bit more natural. Um, it looks like they weren't doing like corn syrup, which is actually good. I'd rather them use maybe cane syrup, but maybe it was tasting like it's cane sugar. But maybe it was a little tasting a little different. But over, I, I I just get this at Alpha Omega Nutrition every time I'm there. I grab one of these because they're pretty cheap. Now, 22 grams of protein, which is about average for bar uh, protein bars overall. Uh, so I give it um. You know what? I'll give it a 4 overall. So, overall, we give this thing a 4 out of 5. So, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. You know what? I'll see you next time.